gas than I will actually on the part that I'm going to retrieve. Also, up hills, um, this truck will not accelerate at all. I can put my foot all the way to the floor and it will at best maintain speed. So, we're getting there cautiously. Yes. This is Zach. Hello. Some of you may remember him. I don't normally sound like that. I'm not British. He does, actually. He does that quite often. From time to time, yes, I do. It depends, on the, it depends on the mood, really. But, um, yeah, I'm traveling along just keeping him company. Zach is a very long-time friend of mine. He is my bestest of buddies. And he is here from Colorado visiting. And he's agreed to accompany me on this fascinating journey that we're taking. So fascinating. Long, straight, boring road. It's very flat to Oklahoma. Where dreams go to die. So far we have done 216 miles. I filled up the truck before we left Kansas City. And in that distance it has, as near as makes no difference, emptied the tank. So we'll be pulling over soon. And I'll be doing the math to find out exactly how many MPGs this truck actually does. Because I've never done that math yet. We're guessing it's it's in the single digits. To my best estimation, I will be very lucky if I break 10. My arm is getting quite tired now. Thank you. You have done your work. Yes. We'll check back in again shortly. Shortly. This is a this is a red car with a black roof. Oh, that's the I see. That is unsightly. Can only imagine what happened here. Well, clearly a fire. Other than that, oh hey, look, there's a uh, first gen bumper in a second gen car. That's probably from the other one. Sad to see. This one too. This one's not been on fire. I've never broken a window in a car before. But I've done my due diligence here and taped it up so that the glass that breaks will stay contained. Um, I'm just hoping that this will do it because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. I've just seen lots of videos on the internet of people trying to break windows and being really surprised at how strong they are. So without any further ado, wow, okay, I'm going to stick. It is not shattered. Wow. That's exactly
exhilarating. <laughs> now you know you're not gonna accidentally break your window. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little trickier because it's rolled down like half an inch and it's not very rigidly mounted to the car. I would just open the door like I did the other one, but this, uh, this door doesn't open from the inside or the outside. So I also discovered at this window that if you come at it not straight on like that, where the head is flush with the glass, but if you come at at an angle down like that, broke on the second smash on this one. Wow. That one hurt my ear a little bit. What do you think? I am so happy. That took significantly less time than I anticipated it to. Actually, the part that took the longest was cutting all the wires and the airbag and the glass, getting all that out of the way. That saw, man, who is this? Milwaukee? Yeah, should have known. This does the trick. Who makes these blades? Hilti? Yeah. That'll chop right through a car. I brought a whole case and I only used one.
gentlemen, we are back. Cullen, situation report. Yes, thanks, Zach. We have another roof on the roof. Right there, look. We had yes. a good day at the junkyard. Our progress moved significantly quicker than we had anticipated. The roof came off very easily once we got the windows smashed in and the wiring harnesses cut and the airbags torn through. Uh, the trapping of the metal was actually the easy part. It and was. They had a forklift available and they simply lifted the roof onto my truck and I strapped it down and here we are. Yeah, I mean, actually, as you will have probably already seen, the glass. Breaking that was the hardest part. Never knew a window could be that strong. Yeah, that was impressive. Also, Zach had never been to a junkyard before. He decided to tell me while we were there. So I just, I, I've never had a need to, to be at one until now. It was like a whole new experience. It's, for us car guys, it's, it's a kid in a candy store. It's like a little gold mine. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it if you haven't been. You could say I popped your junkyard cherry. Oh! So good! Anyway. So, yep. that being said, um, it went faster than we thought, so we got out of there before we thought we would, and we had time to stop for pizza and stop for coffee. Delicious. Now we're back on the road. We've got a three-ish hour drive back to Kansas City. Long, and long that's drive. That listening to a bunch of rattling straps, but it's fine. Yes, there's significantly more wind noise up top now, now that we have a roof on the roof. Worth it, because weight reduction. Except not now, because that's that's added weight to this car, yes. but it will be for yours. Yes. But I'm doing all of this to lose 70 pounds off of a 25-pound Yeah, you're pretty car. fat. Not me. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's program. And with that, we hope you have a lovely day. Tune in next time. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, to, like, to, to this guy, comment, do it. Alt, bell, now. Bell, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Do all the ringing, ring do all the, the liking, do all the following. Ring the bell. You heard the man. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Good night.